Have fun at school! Blinky and Jacko's Pancake Emporium, where our jokes are as flat as our pancakes. <laughs> yeah. You're mistaken. This is not a Pancake Emporium. Oh man, you are gonna love it here. Green Patch is the coolest place in the whole outback. I'm afraid that is incorrect. The average daily temperature in Green Patch is 32.85, which is considered to be warm, not cool. Perhaps you could all walk to school together. It's Hoogle's first day. Sure, we'd love to help you find your feet. I have talons, not feet. And I do not need help finding them. They are there. See? Time to go. You don't want to be late on your first day. Oh, poor Lamb. Must be tough fitting into a new school. I just wish he was a little less serious and a little more adventurous. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure Blinky will teach him a thing or two about that. And the largest rodent in the world? The Brazilian capybara, which can weigh up to 91 kilograms and stand 62 centimetres tall. And what's 400 times 820? 328,000. What's the brightest star in the night sky? Sirius. Yes, I'm serious. I'd like to know, please. No, Sirius. In the Canis Major constellation, that is the name of the star. Uh, hello? The bell rang? Playtime? Shh! Blinky! Hoogle's answering questions! Yes. Maybe you should ask him why he doesn't like to have fun. Fun? Uh, this is an abstract concept. I have no data. I cannot find an answer. I think he blew a fuse. Hope I didn't upset you back there, buddy. Buddies are close friends. We only just met. Therefore, we are merely acquaintances. You know, being clever isn't the only way to make friends. Yeah. For example, look at me. I use my knockout combination of boyish charm, devastating good looks, and sense of adventure. I believe adventure is an unnecessary risk. Yeah, you're right. Even the tree of knowledge isn't worth it. What tree of knowledge? That's not in my books. Well, if it's not in your books, I mean, sheesh, who even cares about a tree that knows the answers to all of life's questions anyway? Where? Well, I can tell you, but I have to warn you, getting there may involve perilous danger slash adventure. You think you can handle that? In the outback, of the outback, at the end of a ravine, by the bend in the ancient Hoa River grows the Tree of Knowledge. Its leaves are silver and gold, its bark made of bronze. What is the capital of Peru? The tree knows. How many toes do dogs have? It can tell you. How long is a piece of string? You betcha, it has the answer. Fierce flying creature guards the tree and all of the knowledge contained within. Kaka! Kaka! Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Um, but uh, uh, the creature only works weekends. Weekends? Part time. It's Monday. He won't be there today. No pressure, of course. If you're not interested in knowledge, I totally get it. Of course I'm interested in knowledge. That's all I'm interested in. We should leave for the tree immediately, before it gets dark. Why didn't you tell me? I love magic trees. I love magic everything. Why else would people call me Magico Jacko? No one calls you that. There is no magic tree. Jacko, who better to take Hoogle on an adventure than... Who? Who's taking him? Who is it, Blinky? Tell me. I oh, I bet it's someone really great. The suspense is killing me. Tell me, Blinky, who is it? Us, you dummy. Oh, yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, I, I knew that. Uh, yeah. Look, he's gonna love it. He just doesn't know it yet. <laughs> yeah. Isn't this great? Out in the great unknown, having an awesome adventure. <laughs> Oh, jeez! You 
scared me half to death. I should hope so. If that had been a mulberry-leaved stinger, it would have been potentially lethal. If it had been? Whoa! That bird! Look how it finds the columns of rising air to gain altitude! And look, look! It glides and descends until it finds another, and then rises up again! That's thermaling!